In this example, we have a basic electro-optical sensor that has a, a very simple night vision feature. And we're examining a large vehicle. In this case, we're in an urban environment, and so the large vehicle is a bus. But the same principles can apply to uh, any other large vehicle. So first thing we do is deinterlace the video. And now we use the histogram equalization with the intensity mode to intensify the light. You can see how fast it is to remove the from the black and amplify the little signal and the light that's there. At this point, we see that it's a bus and we want to see something more from the bus. We actually want a much better, clearer picture because um, we want to see, any, see some details here. So we select some frames. The bus is filmed from the same position from around here to here. Now, the next thing we want to do is stabilize the image. We'll t select image stabilization, local stabilization, and we'll take the, f the, the tire as a frame of reference. Here's the result of our stabilized video. You could see uh, an improvement, and basically all the frames follow the same, where the bus is in the same position. So now what we want to do is integrate all the frames together. So we'll use frame averaging. And here it runs. Even though this is a fairly complex operation, it does run relatively quickly. So we can enhance the frames and stack frame upon frame so that we reduce the noise and the uh, problems caused by all the different values for light. And here we can see the result. So we can clearly see that it's a bus, and we can actually see some writing on the side and some other details. Now we'll use the curves function, and we'll play around with it until we get the best curve. And what the curves does is it matches, the, it maps the input image values to the output image values according to the drawn curve. The x coordinate of the curve is mapped to the cor to the corresponding y value. And what this does is it provides us with a very quick method of correcting light, color, and, and um, intensity of, of uh, values. Now we can go through with sharpening, make these adjustments. And now you can see from the original very black image, we go down through and we can see some of the details on the side of the bus. The, um, this would be very helpful if you want to determine the markings on a vehicle and whether it's friend or foe or um, if they have cargo people, that type of thing. And you don't necessarily have the, the ability to use the best type of electro-optical sensor to do it, the job. So you might have to do some post-image processing or process in, in real time as we're able to do with, with our product as well.